Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to be showing you all of my hamster and gerbil organisation. Um, so this includes the treats, toys and everything else. Um, this is like a really highly requested video so I thought I'd better do it. <laughs> I've been trying to do it for the past couple of weeks but I just haven't got around to doing it. But I've got the day off work today and I've sorted it all out so yeah I thought I'd better do it. Um, so yeah the first few things I'll show you are just under Huey and Scruffy's tank. So under here is mainly their treats and their like food and a few toys as well. Um, but I'll show you what's by Peanut's cage and what's under Marvin and Pip's tank as well. So yeah, I'll just get on with it. Okay, so in the first box, which was from there, and just to pre-warn you, sorry if this video is really, really long. I do have quite a lot of things, so I'm going to try and hurry up as much as I can and not ramble on. So in these boxes, um, by the way, the boxes are from B&M Bargains. They were £2.99 each. Um, and you can get them in pink, green, purple, and I'm sure they did them in blue as well, I'm not too sure. But yeah, they're from B&M Bargains. Um, so in this box contains just their ordinary food. So in this one is the gerbil's food, and in this one is Peanut's food. Um, so Peanut gets the Harry hamster, uh, mixed in with a bit of the Burgess um, hamster food, but he doesn't really like that. And then there's a few of the science selective pellets as well which he really really enjoys um, and then there's just a little scoop and he gets one scoop a day so yeah and these boxes um, are just the really useful boxes which you can get from a lot of shops like Hobbycraft um, I've seen them in home base um, yeah just shops like that um, and then there's the gerbil food so they get the jerry gerbil and I've been mixing in some of this food now um, it's the supreme science selective um, food for rats and it's just like an all-in-one pellet which looks like that and they do actually quite like it so yeah I've been mixing in a few scoops of that in with their basic jerry gerbil food um, and then I put a few mealworms in there as well so yeah that's their food Oops. and I'll just get the other box out now on to the next box which was from there and this contains all of their treats so open it up um, whoops. I don't have as many treats as I used to have just because the gerbils are pretty fussy with what they eat um, they prefer like seeds and nuts and mealworms than like pet shop treats um, so most of these are for peanut um, the odd one or two are for the gerbils but I've been trying to like stop buying so many treats and doing trades and stuff. That's why I haven't replied to anybody who sent me like um, who have inboxed me about trades. And um, just because I'm not going to do one for a very long time now. And um, because I've got too many treats and I don't want them to go out of date and for me to waste them. So yeah, anyway. Um, so yeah, this box contains all of their treats. So first thing I've got is the donuts from Vitacraft. Um, these are the free samples that I got when I emailed them. Um, I haven't opened them yet, um, but it says it's for rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters. Um, but they do contain egg, so I wouldn't recommend you giving them to rabbits and guinea pigs um, because they can't have dairy products. Um, but they're a good source of protein for hamsters and gerbils. And I know the gerbils like these um, because it contains eggs, so yeah. The next thing I've got is just a corner nut a corn on the cob and um, what I do is just like break off a few pieces for them I never really put the whole lot in there Um I do for peanut just because it helps with his teeth but with the gerbils I just break a few pieces off for them next thing I got is from Vitacraft again just open up that it's the Biscuity I think that's how you pronounce it Um but I've never seen these before and um, this, these are what they sent me as well with the donuts um, and they just look like like the egg biscuits really that you can get from Shaw's and Bob Martin I uh, can't get it out oh, anyway it looks like the picture 
yeah so as I said again I wouldn't really recommend them for rabbits and guinea pigs just because they contain egg products but they're perfectly safe for hamsters and rats and gerbils and mice next thing I got is just the Healthy Bites Odour Care for Small Animals and these were £1.59 from a local pet shop um, the four rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters, pet rats and mice and everybody likes these yeah they're a good treat for everybody even the gerbils like them um, next few treats are from Pickles12807 when we did a trade so all these are from America um, so these are the KT Fiesta Healthy Toppings and the papaya flavour um, which tastes really really nice I've actually tried them myself um, me and my boyfriend like dared each other to try some and all it is is papaya so yeah um, we've kind of eaten most of them out of the bag um, but I give these to the gerbils and hamster very sparingly just because they contain a lot of sugar and um, like natural sugars so yeah Next thing I got are the Wild Harvest Veggie Puffers and Tasty Garden Vegetable Puffs. To be honest, none of my pets really like these except for Peanut. Um, Peanut tends to eat almost anything that I'd give him. So these are for Peanut mainly. Next are the Wild Harvest Bake Shop Treats um, the Pretzels, um, which everybody likes. Um, me and my boyfriend dared each other to eat one of these as well. And they taste pretty nice actually. So yeah. Next thing I got is the Wild Harvest Natural Treat Mix. Um, it's got natural fruits, vegetables, seeds, and nuts, um, which everybody loves. And um, the gerbils love these as well, just because it contains all seeds and nuts. So yeah. And then I've got a whole load of cheesy chews, but um, Tara from Pickles One Two Eight Oh Seven sent me. And um, these are a massive favourite with peanuts he absolutely adores them and the gerbils love them as well so I've got one in there and I've still got one two three four five packs left of them so those will last me a pretty long time and then the last thing from America um, are these 100% natural clean sweep and chew all natural dental care 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 um, yeah they just look like these I've saved these for Halloween just because I think they look like witches broomsticks and they're really really cool I don't want to use them to be honest because they look so good um, but yeah the gerbils will get these at Halloween and it says it's safe to chew all natural and it prevents boredom so yeah those are all the things from America next I've got um, just some plain popcorn um, the gerbils and peanut love this and um, I just pop a few kernels in the microwave I think they're called kernels um, yeah this popcorn doesn't contain like any sugar salt um, any sort of flavorings it's just completely natural and it is safe for all pets so yeah Next thing I got is just a big tub of mealworms, um, a massive favourite with the gerbils. I sprinkle this into their ordinary food and like mix it in with it. Um, it's an excellent source of protein um, and this tub was from, I think it was from Poundland. Um, yeah, it's only a pound. You can get them in like the garden centres and Wilkinson's and stuff, but they're such a rip off. They're about like three or four pound a tub where I just go to Poundland or like the 99p store and they've got them in there. Next thing I got is just like a mixture of crickets, mealworms and locusts. Um, they're just dried, massive favourite with the gerbils again. Next thing I got is just some baby food. Um, so this is the organic whole grain rice, chicken and apple. I um, haven't used it yet. Um, I don't really give the pets baby food that often um probably once every month or so so yeah i just got that one and then i've got an empty jar and i've got a load of spoons what i use to um scoop out the baby food with and whatnot and um, i've just got some clips just um to clip some open bags just to keep it fresh and then in here 
open it up. So in here, they've just got some rodents garnish here, which was from the Woodlands range. Um, they've just got little packs of raisins and sultanas. Sultanas and apple and raisins and apricot. And these are one, the ones by the fruit factory. Um, you can get these from Tesco's for like £1.50. And you get about 12 in a pack. Um, and these contain no added sugars, um, like sweeteners and stuff like that. It's completely natural. So yeah, those are pretty good. And um, these are the cheesy biscuits from Pets at Home. Um, Peanut absolutely adores them. And then these are like the cheesy bites by I think it's the Natural Range. I can't remember what the range is called, but yeah, it's just like banana chips in there, and then they've got like cheesy popcorn and stuff. And then in here is just a whole load of sunflower seeds, nuts. Um, dried fruit um, this is a big favourite with gerbils so yeah that's everything in that box so I'll just put it all away and get out the other box so on to the next box which is from there um, I think there's more treats in here yep so in this box contains all of the seed based treats I've got a Burgess Super Snack Superstar. Uh, the Wilco's Apple Berry and Banana Cubes. I've just got one left in there. Um, this is from America, again, from Pickles 1807. Um, it's the Wild Harvest um, like seed blocks. Sorry about the glare. The glare's from my window. Um, it says it's vitamin and mineral enriched. Um, all the pets love that. And I've got a Wilco seed and nut bar, which I've had for absolutely ages. I've got to check out the date on it. I don't think there's a date on these, actually. But I'll probably use it in a couple of days when I clean peanut out. Next thing I've got is just a pack of Rolinis. Um, these ones say they're for guinea pigs, but they're perfectly safe for hamsters and gerbils as well. And these are the... I think it's apple flavour. Then I've got a Johnson's Harvest Munch. Um, it's a natural treat for rabbits and guinea pigs, etc. Um, but I wouldn't give it to rabbits and guinea pigs again because it's got seeds and nuts in there. But I'm sure peanut and the gerbils will love that. Next thing I've got is just um, a piece from the... I think it's from the Wilco's um, seed block for wild birds. And I've just got a Johnson seed and honey sandwich for hamsters and gerbils. So yeah, those are all of the seed based treats. Next are all the dog treats. So in here contains all of the dog treats that I've got for peanuts. Um, I don't give these to the gerbils just because they hate them and <laughs> they never eat them. So in here I've just got some bonios, which are peanuts' absolute favourite. Um, some pedigree milky bones, some of the Bonio milky bones. Um, these are the pedigree multigrain bites. And then I've got some puppy markies. Um, I usually get the puppy ones just because they don't smell as much as the adult markies. And um, Peanut tends to prefer the puppy ones anyway. Um, and then I've just got some of these are the dog biscuits which were from Pets at Home. Um, I've got some cheesy bites, which he absolutely loves, and then just some gravy bones. Um, and then in the side here, I've just got some black sunflower seeds and some pumpkin seeds as well. So yeah, those are all the dog treats. And then I've just got some of these Asda Tiger filled pockets with chicken and cheese, which he doesn't really like, to be honest. And then in these boxes, I've just got some monkey nuts, which are a huge favourite with the gerbils. I've got some of the treat mix, which I make up myself. And then the last tub contains just some millet sprays, um, which the gerbils absolutely love as well. 
So yeah, that's everything in that box and I'll go on to the next box now. So on to the next box which just contains some toys um, which I haven't given out yet. So the first thing I've got is just some brown paper bags which I use to make toys out of. So I just fill them with treats and I kind of fold them over so they have to try and rip open the bag. And I get those from like the pain shop. You can get like 10 for a pain which is pretty cheap. And they have been like destroying the bag and using it as their bedding. So in here I've just got a pack of the Wilco Fun Ball Trio for small animals and the gerbils absolutely love these. They destroy them in like minutes. Um, next I've got just some sisal rope. Um, most of these things are from chinchillas to shop.co.uk um, if you've seen in my last haul. Um, I've just got like a wicker heart. I've got one of the Wilco's Hyacinth Duo Tunnels which I'm going to put in their tanks when I've cleaned them out today. I've got a pack of loofer circles. I've got a seagrass star, another seagrass star, another wicker heart. Um, I've just got some chew toys. Um, these are the ones by Small and Furry, I think. The bag of chews. Um, I've got one of the dental tooth brushes from Pets at Home. Another wood chew. Another wood chew. And some more wood chews. And then I got a pack of like these wicker little ball things, um, which I haven't given them to them yet. And then I've got one of these, I think it's called a Razzy, something like that, but it's made out of some sort of like wicker material another little toy and another one of those razzies and then i've just got a pack of the wilkinson's kiwi sticks yeah that's everything in that box i'm going to put it all away now so that's everything over in that side and now i'll go on to peanuts toys so now i'm by marvin and pip's tank and there's even more supplies just under here and this is the last of the organization which is in my room um, so the first thing I've got is just this new fleece that I bought a couple of days ago from Donnell Mill. And um, this is going to go in the bunny shed. So it just looks like that. It's got a really funky pattern on there. It says Merry Christmas. And it's got a picture of Santa, um, some penguins and Rudolph and some snowflakes as well. And it was 4 99 from Donnell Mill. And it's 125 by 150 centimetres. So around Christmas I'm going to put that in the shed and make like a Christmas themed shed for them. In here it contains all of like the cleaning supplies. So I've got the Johnson's Clean and Safe. I've got a dustpan and brush. I've just got some kitchen roll to wipe the tanks out. Um, I've got these Dettol wipes which I never ever use in the tanks. Um, you shouldn't use anything like this. Um, on your pet's housing um, but I use this just around it and outside of the tank and then I've just got some of the Intershred comfy bed and I've got a pack of potty litter um, by Clean and Tidy which is the one for peanut and then I've got a box of the Supreme Science bathing sand which I use as potty litter for the gerbils. And then I've just got some of this natural rope, which I use toys out of, which should go in the other box over the other side, actually. And so, yeah, that's everything in that box. And then I've just got some of the Wilco's Timothy Hay for rabbits and rodents. And um, so I use this with the gerbils and they love it. And they love making their nest out of it. Then under here, if I can get the box out, I'll just move that, that one out of the way. There we go. So in here contains all of Marvin and Pip's supplies. So I'll keep Marvin and Pip's toys away from Huey and Scruffy's just because I don't want to like mix up their scents um, because it can cause like fights and stuff if they can smell another gerbil on their stuff. So in here I've just got their little divider thing which I use in the tank um, just so they can have like a burrow box 
Um, I've got, whoops, shaky camera. <laughs> I've got a spare silent spinner wheel. Um, I've got this jar with a load of clips in there to tie up bags with. Um, I've got this wooden bridge. Um, most of their toys are wooden, just so it's good for their teeth, so they can chew on them. Um, nothing's plastic for the gerbils. You should never put anything that's plastic in um, the gerbil tank, um, just because they gerbils chew absolutely everything, and if they chew the plastic, then it can really harm them. So I've got like this little glass bowl, which I use for their sand baths. I've got this little wooden ladder I was going to call it a tunnel then <laughs> I've got this little wooden house which has a food bowl at the top and um, this is plastic but I take it out and I love this um, it was from pets at home by the woodlands range and my battery is low so I'm gonna have to hurry up um, I've got this wooden chew toy I've got a clip for the um, sippy cup thing which they don't really like I've got another food bowl and um, I've got this wooden tunnel bridge, not bridge, <laughs> tube thing um, which I use at playtime. I've just got some clips which are for the metal bowls. I've got another wooden chew toy and um, got chew toys in there and this terracotta pot which they love and um, it's good for their night, for their night, for their nails. Try and get my words out sometime today. Um, yeah, it's good for their nails to scratch on. Um, I've got this ladder thing which is from their old tank. Um, that's from the sippy cup. And then I've got another wooden chew toy. So yeah, those are all of Marvin and Pip's toys. And I'll just put them all back now because I'm making a complete mess so I can get Hughie and Scruffy's box out. Now onto Hughie and Scruffy's toys. They've pretty much got the same thing. Um, they have got a lot of toys in their tanks already so there's only a few in the box at the moment and um, so they've got their little burrow box they've also got one of the glass jars which um not a glass jar glass bowl which i use for their sand bath and um, they've got one of the tunnel things which i've chewed loads of they've got one of these wooden puzzle pieces they've got another one of the wooden puzzle pieces and they've got a chew toy and they've got this bird toy which has a bell on the end and they've chewed a lot of this raffia stuff off. And they've got their plastic bowl which is from the little circle thing, I forgot what you call it, um, but I've taken that out and they've got it in their tanks at the moment. And they've got this toy as well. They've got another wooden toy. Um, They've got food bowls as well, so they've got a metal one and this brown circle one. And then they've just got some of this um, rope which you can make toys out of as well. So that's everything in Hugh and Scruffy's box. And then the last few things under here. Oh, in this purple box I've just got their treat mix supplies. And um, so these are all the um, supplies that I use to make up their treat mix. So I've got some trill. Um, some porridge oats, some wheat germ, some of the soup broth, and some pearl barley, and some of the sunflower seed mix thing. Um, so yeah, those are all the things that I use to make their treat mix. Keep them all in this purple box. And then the very last things, if I can reach them. Um, are just their play oh, what do you call it now play pen that's the word <laughs> I forgot the word and I was looking at Pip while I was trying to think of the word hello Pip hello what are you doing we don't usually see you on camera because you're always hiding because you're a little shy boy you're a bit shy aren't you Hello. Um, anyway, yeah, I've just got two of the play pens 
which sometimes I put them separately or sometimes I put them into one massive playpen um, but I'll show you what they look like in a separate video um, I'll do a gerbil playtime video very soon so yeah those are all of my supplies um, sorry if this video has become really really long and boring um, but it was a highly requested video I thought I'd better do it and there's Marvin what are you doing? What are you doing? Should we open you up? Let's have a look. What are you doing? Marvin! Marvin! Where are you? There you are! What are you doing? <laughs> so yeah, anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and thanks to everyone that has subscribed to me. I'm on 920 subscribers now, which is absolutely amazing. I can't wait to reach 1,000 subscribers, um, which I'll be doing a massive contest um, when I reach 1,000 subscribers, hopefully very soon. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!